back in the day, uh, there was a, a couple places to play. There was um, there was Ruthie's, which was in the East Bay. It was a nightclub that would let anyone in, no matter if they're underage or not. You know, uh, if you had a band or you were interested in the band, you can always go to Ruthie's and uh, sure enough know that you'd be able to, to get in to see the band whether you're underage or not and that was the great thing about Ruthie's and and because of that fact Ruthie's always seemed to be packed you know and, and there was always a lot of bands that were playing there a lot of underage bands would pl play there you know get paid with beer and whatnot uh, so I mean that that made Ruthie's really really special for the scene that was uh, that was uh, happening at the time there was also the stone, and the stone was a lot more like a, night, a, a, a nightclub, you know, where a lot of national bands would come and play when they were in San Francisco. And you know, that that was a place where, you know, Anthrax would come into uh, into town and, and play, you know, or like you know, Exciter or or whatever. Um, that was, you know, uh, the Stone was your more kind of like normal sort of average sort of nightclub. But there was also the Mubuhe Gardens, which was uh, uh, an infamous punk nightclub in uh, the late 70s, early 80s. And uh, there, th uh, the Mubuhe Gardens was like the CBGBs of, of San Francisco. You could go there if you had like had had this band that you formed, you know, a few days before. If you can get up and, and like you know play a tune. You, you know, more than likely would, would be able to land a gig at the MAB. And you know, a lot of bands would would, uh, um, would form just on, on the sly and, and play the MAB. You know, you'd have like an over, you know, form a, a metal band, you know, overnight, and you, rest assured you'll be able to, uh, to play uh, the, the MAB. In fact, that's where I first met Lars and James, was at the MAB. Exodus opened up for Metallica at the Mubuhe Gardens, and um, yeah, you know, it was it was just an amazing place because it was just so loose.